Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. We got to talk about. Okay, so before we talk about that, let me talk about Young Miami, okay? So, as we know, Young Miami has been very quiet. We've been seeing her with her kids lately. She took her kids to the Miami Dolphins game. Um, the other day she was having a Friendsgiving dinner. But strangely enough, she hasn't said anything about, you know, her her poppy, a.k.a. Diddy. You know, she was holding up that sign at the BET Awards, honey, letting everybody know that's her man, you know, my man, my man, my man. Um, but she's been real quiet about her man lately. Remember she was, you know, beefing with the Asian girls online and, you know, being real racist towards the Asian girls and, and calling them munches and jump offs and everything else. She's been very, very quiet about this Cassie situation. So um, DJ Academics was calling out Carisha. You know, he's been keeping his foot on the whole crew over there. So they they had a whole back and forth. So we're going to go ahead and um look at their back and forth really quick here. Let me find this. Like I said, I got a lot of damn screens up, child. I'm still laughing at Rod Wave cussing out the whole internet. Okay, hold on. Where is it at? Okay, here we go. Let me share this tab real quick. All right. So, messy-ass DJ Academics wrote this. He said, Young Miami... Loud ass, hold on. Loud my wait, young Miami's loud ass ain't tweeting four days. <laughs> Come on, don't make it obvious. LOL. <laughs> I'm sorry, I agree with DJ Academics, okay? You know, she always got something to say about everybody else, but when it comes to Papa Diddy, she's quiet than a motherfucker, okay? Let's keep that real. So then somebody went to her comment section because she's been posting everything but the Diddy situation. And somebody says, you ain't learning from Cassie, sister. <laughs> so young Miami replies back and she says, I think you're under the wrong bitch page. Laugh my ass off. <laughs> so basically, she's still showing her allegiance to Papa Diddy, okay? She says she gonna stand by her man. She don't care if he's out here ahhing girls and, you know, whooping their ass and giving them chin checks. She says she from Miami, bitch, and she will fight Diddy back. Plus, I think, you know, Diddy's old now. You know, he he's not as, I'm not saying he's not strong, but, you know, you know, as you get older, you you know, your knees ain't working right and shit. <laughs> you know, the wrist ain't working right. He can't, he can't, he probably can't, you know, hit on Miami the way he was hitting on Cassie in his younger days. You know, you know, motherfuckers are old and shit. You know, they want to calm down and, you know, not be as vicious. So maybe she's getting, like, you know, the tail end of Diddy where he's not really knocking heads anymore like he was back in the day and shit when he was younger. You know, breaking noses and knocking out teeth and shit. So maybe she got that old Diddy. He, you know, he can't run too fast anymore. He's like, well, damn it, she's fucking up. Oh, well, you know, ain't nothing I can do. But um, I think the whole situation is a mess at the end of the day. Um, did I expect her to come out with a statement? Not really, you know, but I also... You know, her clapping back at the fans. People have the right to be worried about you. People have the right to be like, you know, to send smoke signals and tell your ass to run, bitch, run. Um, people have the right to do that. So for you to get mad and say, you know, you're under the wrong post. No, she's under the right post because you're the only one still sucking his peen, okay? So the person posted under the right post. Cassie's no longer fucking with him. Cassie got herself a fine husband and two children. So the person addressed the correct woman, okay? Because you're the only one still claiming Papa Diddy, okay? So I find this whole situation just, you know, just... You know, it's, it's a key key. So now in other news concerning Papa Diddy, you know, we all seen the stressed out picture of him. You know, he's holding his stomach and shit, you know, holding his head, you know, just, you know, stressed. You know, we saw his photo op. He's walking around with his sweatpants tucked in his socks. <laughs> I can't laugh because I'd be like that around my house. I tuck my, my pants, my sweatpants or my leggings, I tuck them in my socks. You know, I don't know if it's something with age. It just, it's, it's a comfort thing. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't looking like a damn wrestler and shit. <laughs> so, you know, he, he's stressed. It's a 
comfort thing. You you tuck your sweatpants and your socks and shit. It keeps you warm. Is it so? It's just me and Diddy who do that. Y'all don't do that. Y'all don't tuck y'all's pants and y'all socks. <laughs> when I seen that, I fell out because I'm literally doing the podcast with Emily. Like I put this on everything. That's how my pants look right now. They're tucked into my socks. <laughs> Am I the only one who does that? <laughs> Somebody said I'm 28 and I do it too. Okay, so it's not an old people thing. Because I do it now. I don't know. I do it a lot now. So young people do it too? Okay, good. I'm glad it's not just me. Because I do. When I said that, I was like, oh shit, it's not just me. I thought I was the only weirdo who walks around here with my pants tucked in my socks. <laughs> I'm going to post y'all a picture of me doing that one day. Y'all going to crack up. I'll be looking like I got gout. Because you know I got skinny legs and shit. Then now you see these thick ass pants and socks. <laughs> what the hell's going on with your ankles? You got gout? I'm like, no, it's my pants that are tucked into my socks. <laughs> but anyways, child, Papa Diddy is having the worst day ever. And guess what? I'm here for it. Okay. Not only did he run to go settle with Cassie, you know, which was basically admitting his guilt to me in my eyes. But um, he's just gotten a bunch of bad news today. And I'm here for it. So let's go ahead and watch what's going on with Diddy here. Let me pull up my screen. I got so many damn pages. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Let me share this with y'all real quick. Okay. So right now. <laughs> okay. So right now, this is what's going on with Diddy. Um, His clothing brand. Y'all remember Sean John back in the day. And my 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 uh, oldest son, he has Sean in his name. I mean, when he was young, we'd be like, oh, you know, this is your, you know, they made this for you. Because, you know, he has Sean in his name. So we would get him Sean John and stuff. We'd be like, oh, they made these clothes for you, Sean. He's grown now, so he knows that this is, you know, they weren't made for him. That this this is Diddy's clothing line. You know, as a, as a young person in the, you know, 90s and 2000s, we supported Diddy. You know, we, we bought Sean John. You know, we supported this black man's clothing company. But again, that was in the early 2000s. Who the fuck is wearing Sean John in 2023? Like, put a teacup if you're still out here wearing Sean John. I didn't even know Sean John was a thing. I'm like, what year is this, 2003? So anyways, uh, Macy's, they done came out and made this huge announcement, honey. This is some messy shit. So Macy's came out and they basically said this. Diddy's clothing brand, Sean John, <laughs> will no longer be carried in Macy's. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to read this. Will no longer be carried in Macy's with the insider connected to... <laughs> Who the hell contacted an insider at Macy's about Sean John? Like, who, who woke up today on Thanksgiving Eve was like, I wonder if Macy's going to get rid of the Sean John clothing collection. <laughs> what? <laughs> so anyways, they done contacted, somebody from Radar Online done contacted an insider. And they learned exclusively, okay, that the rapper's label would not be available on the department store website effective this month. <laughs> Once again... Who is wearing Sean John in 2023? That's all I want to know, okay? Then they're going to say Sean John is offered on Macy. <laughs> I can't even read the rest of this shit. Sean John is offered on Macy's website in select stores, but our sources shared that the corporate um, has been evaluating the brand, <laughs> the brand for a while now. And nothing has been selling like it used to since the 90s. Oh my gosh, I'm literally crying. <laughs> oh my God. As a part of an ongoing review of our brand's portfolio, the Sean John collection has started to phase out of assortment since early fall 2023. The well-connected source told Radar Online. <laughs> Okay, so now if that's not bad enough, okay, at least Sean John, that's old. Oh, so there was there's a few people who still wear Sean John. I see some teacups. 
I'm giving y'all the side eye. Because I didn't even know you could even buy Sean John, okay? That's like me out here wearing baby fat. And rock aware. Remember how every rapper had a clothing brand in the early 2000s? In the 99s? So anyhow, um, this is what else is going on with Diddy. So on top of him being dropped by Sean John, you know, calling me surprised. Well, now y'all know this liar for years we thought he was like you know this mogul he owns Ciroc you know everybody wanted to be you know an entrepreneur and a mogul like Diddy you know we thought that he owned Ciroc only to find out that he's nothing but a glorified influencer he's no different than me and any other influencer on social media he's a glorified influencer he didn't own these brands he was just the face of these brands and Diageo y'all not always mispronounce it they're the you know they're the ones who own it so now that all this has come out they really want to separate themselves so both both of this news hit today on papa diddy so diageo cites diddy's r claims um in renewed push to keep him out of tequila ads <laughs> so now they don't even want him in the tequila ads even the old ads they're, they're pulling them off the air so it's a lot going on with him so let me see here They also wrote that last week, Sean Diddy Combs is facing growing scrutiny and missed the push to refresh and expand a business portfolio that he spent decades cultivating. A letter filed with the New York court Friday, the London-based spirit maker Diageo cited that the accusations to bolster its month-long effort to prevent Combs from serving as a face a daily owned tequila, which has ran in joint venture uh, for over a decade. So basically, <clears throat> the whole De Leon, remember when he lied and said that Warner Brothers didn't want him to be the Joker and they were like trying to take that from him. But the real reason why they didn't want him using the Joker um, costume is because he shot that whole De Leon tequila commercial in the Joker costume. And so that's why he got that cease and desist. So basically, as I stated in that last stream when I talked about this, he didn't own that liquor brand. Um, Diageo owned it. So now they want him, they want his face off of all the advertising. They don't want to have anything to do with him. So this whole situation with Cassie is definitely snowballing. It's definitely going to cost him a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's, it's hard times for Diddy. And I don't feel bad for him because he's done so much to people. It's, it's terrible, all the stuff that he's done. So now on top of that, um, <laughs> oh yeah, somebody said this on that post. I was cracking up. Um, I think they had, they had set this on DJ Academics post about the whole Sean John thing. Let me see if I can find it. They were basically like, if you're still wearing Sean John, okay, this is it. Let me show y'all this. This had me cracking up. So this person, hold on, hold on. Let me share this tab here. He said, anybody still wearing Sean John in 2023 needs to be included in the lawsuit. I fell out when I read that because I'm really trying to figure out who is still out here wearing Sean John. But I guess there's two people in the chat who are out here wearing Sean John. I'm going to need y'all to retire Sean John. Sean John is a wrap. Retire it, okay? So now on top of this... um. Like I told you, I went grocery shopping and I literally came home and there they have been so many lawsuits filed literally in the past three hours. So grab y'all's teacups because this is a lot of breaking news um, that has literally popped off. So let's start with this. Um, Jamie Foxx is being sued for sexual assault, y'all. Let me share my screen. Give me just a second here. This is insane. Because Jamie Foxx was just laid up in a coma, damn near died. And now they're saying he done sexually assaulted somebody. So let me go ahead and um, read this to y'all. Give me just a second here. So they are saying it happened in 2015. So they're saying Jamie is being accused of sexually assaulting a woman in New York in 2015. According to the lawsuit obtained by TMZ, the Oscar winner was at a catch nyc roof in august of that year when the plaintiff arrived around 11 p.m a few hours later the unnamed woman and one of her friends 
who were seated one table away from Jamie Foxx, allegedly asked the actor for a photo, which she claimed that he agreed to. She claimed that the 55-year-old seemed intoxicated and allegedly replied, sure, baby, anything for you. After taking a few photos, the woman alleged that Jamie Foxx told her that she had a supermodel body and smelled so good. The plaintiff claims that the actor then pulled her by the arm to the back area of the roof and allegedly started touching her inappropriately. She alleges that Fox placed both hands on her waist and then moved them under her top to rub her breast. Damn. The woman claims that there were several people, including some security guards that witnessed the alleged assault, but they simply walked away despite seeing her trying to get away from the race star. Fox then allegedly slid his hands into her pants and put his fingers inside her vagina and anus on the roof in front of people? I'm reading this. This is breaking news. I don't even, I just seen that he was, you know what I'm saying, sued. I don't know the details, so we're reading this together. She claims that the alleged assault stopped once her friend came around the corner and saw what was going on. The plaintiff is suing Jamie and the restaurant for, cons for compensatory and punitive damages, claiming she had to undergo medical treatment and suffered emotional distress as a result of the sexual assault, abuse, assault, and battery. The New York Adult Survivors Act, which allows alleged victims of sexual offense in which the statute of limitation had lapsed to file a civil suit, is notably up on November 24th. Reps for Jamie Foxx did not immediately return our request for comments. Ciao. Um, so this other person is being sued too. This just came out today. Like this is insane. Everybody's getting sued because again, the statute of limitations is over in New York on the 24th. So this is who else is being sued right now. Let me share this tab here. Bam! Y'all know who that is? He looked really old and he's missing a hat and glasses. Jimmy Iovine. He is being sued as well. So we're going to go ahead and read this. I don't know anything about the case. We're reading this together. Because like I said, I came home and everybody was being sued. So, oh my gosh. Come on, Rolling Stone. I got to subscribe. Hold on. Let me, let me look up another person. Why well, don't have to subscribe? I'm paying for like enough. It's like I'm paying for so many subscriptions. It's ridiculous. I thought I was paying for theirs, but I guess not. Okay, Yahoo has it. Hopefully, Yahoo doesn't have a paywall. Okay, cool. Yahoo doesn't. Okay. So, Jimmy Iovine. All right. A woman is filing a lawsuit against music executive Jimmy Iovine, alleging that the Interscope's record co-founder allegedly sexual, well, sexually abused her and forcibly touched her, according to court documents. Um, Ivan tells Rolling Stone that he's shocked and baffled by the claim. Oh, okay, so he's, at least he's put out a statement. Uh, the Jane Doe plaintiff filed a summons notice on Wednesday in New York, okay? Nutty New York. Once again, the statute of limitations alleges that Ivan, who is now 70, engaged in multiple instances of sexual abuse and forcible touching of her, including a specific incidence of sexual misconduct that occurred in New York City in August of 2007. The legal filing contained little additional information regarding the woman's specific claims, but a lawsuit is expected by the end of the year. The woman also alleges that she faced sexual harassment and retaliation and is seeking an unspecified amount of damages. Doe's attorney, Douglas, ooh, Wigdor, uh-oh, declined to comment further on this case. Now, if y'all remember, y'all remember who um, Mr. Wigdor is, that is the high-powered attorney that Cassie hired against Diddy. He's also the attorney that took down Harvey Weinstein. So if she is hiring Mr. Wigdor, ooh we he about to cut a check. She about to get some of that Beats money, literally. It's going to be very interesting who else. Like, I feel like that meme, who's next? You know what I mean? How them kids be dancing and shit? 
Who is next in the entertainment industry? And how come Trey Song's lawsuits don't stick? Like, when's he finally going to go down for something? Like, every other month he gets sued for some type of sexual abuse, but it seems like they're not sticking. But I'm really interested to see who's next. Cuba Gooding Jr., I think he settled his case already. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's trying to get some of that Beats money. A straight-up mess. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.